All right, thanks for tuning in, guys. Uh, it's great to see you. I'm sitting out front of this fine log cabin on one of the last warm days of the year, I suppose. And I thought I would take this time opportunity to share with you about homesteading. Uh, chances are in the future I'll do a series about homesteading, but I thought I might want to touch with it and sh share a little bit about my experiences with homesteading, a little of my story, uh, how it went, and uh, what I would do differently if I were to go back and, and to that young man that tried it and the words of wisdom that I would give him. Um, in, in my mid-twenties, I read far too many copies of Mother Earth News and I was, uh, I was, I was uh, lost or confused with my college career, uh, the focus of my life, and uh, I, I just, the idea of uh, facing a, a 20 year mortgage, uh, working uh, 30 years at a miserable job and getting a gold watch at the end of it and sent home to die a year later or play golf, um, uh, that uh, I, I, I rather the, the, the lure of back to the land of having my own home with no mortgage and uh, somehow another earning my living uh, without working a corporate job held held just tremendous appeal for me. And I had had the success of building a small house for myself a, a few years before. And uh, I, I felt that I, 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 could, I could really make a go of this. So I talked my, uh, my young bride into joining me and the two of us moved to the rural hills of uh, Appalachia, Eastern Tennessee, where we were able to buy 15 acres of land for cash. Uh, basically what I did is I sold my new pickup truck and bought an old junky one. And the difference in the, the sale value of that allowed me to be, buy some of this cheap Tennessee land, which today is still very reasonable. Um, and uh, from there, we, uh, I, I built a tent for us to live, off of, live out of. Uh, we had a stream nearby that we got our drinking water from, and uh, that's where we kept our, our water cool. And we used that water and heated it over a wood stove that I had in order to have hot water. And uh, we proceeded to clear our property uh, using a borrowed team of horses from the neighbors. Uh, cut, cleared the woods, pulled the stumps, and uh, plowed the ground, and got got uh, got our vegetables in. And I had previously taken down uh, materials from three old vintage structures, and uh, so I had plenty of building materials. Plus, there was stone laying around on the property, and I uh, went full steam into building us a uh, a house with the goal of having it mortgage free once we got finished. Uh, and I can say to this day, when I tell people that, uh, particularly of my age, they, uh, they all are jealous that uh, they all had that similar call themselves of uh, trying homesteading and they all regret not having given it a try. That it's not a matter of succeeding necessarily, but it's a matter of when you have a dream, when you have a goal in life, when you have an itch that you can't, you can't help but scratch, you need to jump at it or or face yourself in the future living with regret and that's that's not a good thing life was was absolutely wonderful i was uh, i was a stressed out young man uh, in my in a college uh, program that was leading toward a career i didn't want to do and suddenly finding myself in control of my own time in control of my own life and a chance to think through what I had been through and where I wanted to go forward uh, was life changing. And I loved being outdoors. Uh, we actually uh, got rid of our clocks. We got rid of our calendars. Uh, we didn't know what day of the week it was. We rose when the sun came up and went to bed shortly thereafter. Um, it, it was it was wonder it was a wonderful experience. We would go hiking one day. We'd work on the house the next, and we'd work in the garden the next. Uh, winter arrived, and that winter we we uh, we stayed in it and we enjoyed it, and we were we were very ha a happy young couple. Um, and then and then and then the baby appeared. Uh, they have a have a tendency to do that. Our first child, our first son, um, and life changed uh, 180 
to a degree that I had never imagined before. And it proved that this lifestyle that we had, uh, the carefreeness of it vanished and the expenses went through the roof. Um, and uh, so it was only a matter of before the end of that year, the end of our third year, that we decided that this lifestyle was not working for us. And uh, so we uh, moved to, a, to outside of a college town in central Virginia and uh, found that the skills that I had acquired uh, in building houses and working with salvage materials uh, was in high demand uh, and I found income and I, I, I uh, but in, in looking back over the uh, homesteading experience that start with a raw piece of land and build your own home and your garden um, that, uh, that there was definitely some, some learning experiences for me and I'd like to share just a couple of those with you uh, right now. Uh, one thing, it's homesteading, I highly recommend it. If you've got the itch to do it, I fully understand that. Uh, I've always had the itch to, to build my own home. I've never been comfortable in someone else's home. They've always fallen short, and I like, I like creating a home, and that's for the purpose of the Handmade House series here. Uh, but in that home was a, was a major learning curve for me in the fact of how disappointing that home was. And I would go on to learn the proper techniques and characteristics and keys associated with building a wonderful home. And uh, you can get a copy of that. You can hear me do a great video on that if you visit the Handmade House Academy page. And there's a free link there to get you the, those. But, but, uh, there was a, uh, but there was a major disappointment in that house. And when I ended up having to sell that property, I basically sold it for the, what I paid for the land in the first place and got no premium back for all the work that I had put into that property. So there's, there's definitely a, a, a learning curve in if you're going to build your own home, you want to build, you want to build it as good as you can so that you can get a good return in the event that, it, that it's time for you to to leave, and this, the second thing I can say is that is that I, I I I divided my time far too much, and that was uh, devoting it toward growing the growing vegetables, clearing land, uh, cutting firewood, uh, trying to do odd jobs around the community in order to earn a living. Uh, and while we were there. Uh, plus build a house and plus enjoy life that there was there was just too much there was too much going on uh, and the third thing and I see this so much uh, today in people that want to homestead is they they do the same thing that I did they land and they start doing odds and end things uh, they don't get to the house uh, in, in hindsight, that garden that I put so much effort into for three years that I walked away from it, I got a few bags of groceries from it, and that's it. And the, the baby coming on uh, was the life-changing key that got me out of there and caused me to abandon what I was doing. And that babies happen with young people. And that when it does, whatever you're doing suddenly you don't have near the time, near the effort, near the financial resources to, to handle everything going on with, hand, with, uh, with a home. So when you, when you land on a piece of land and it's time to homestead, focus on the construction of your home, on building that home as well as you can. And once you get that home finished, then you can turn your attention towards other things on the property, such as your your means of income or your or your garden or what what your animals or whatever else focus on that house build that house as sweet as you can uh, so that it will serve you for your lifetime or bring you an excellent return when it comes time to sell would like to thank uh, three more people uh, for signing up with the Handmade House Academy uh, Maria Marchi Charles Grow and Seriana Gurritson.
and again, I apologize for messing you guys' names up. Uh, but uh, anyway, I do thank you so much for joining in and with the Academy, and I look forward to seeing you next week, on next Wednesday. Wednesdays with Noah. Yay! Uh, we'll see you next uh, for it. That would be episode nine, I believe. Whoa, we're moving along in this series, and I've got a, I've got a good one for you next week.